Hello everybody. Today we are going to proceed the module Different Ways of Living. The theme of our lesson is The Han Does the Last of the First. Please open your books on page 96. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to recognize inconsistencies in argument in extended talk on a range of general and curricular subjects. Dedicate meaning from contents in extended text and to use a variety of future active and passive forms. At first, check these words in the word list on page WL20. Bose, lean, curly, attached, native, gather, crops, generous, wonder. Now, watch the video and pay attention of the using of these words. The Hadza The Hadza are the last full-time tribe of hunter-gatherers in Africa. Of the 1,000 remaining, 3 to 400 still hunt and gather in much the same way as their ancestors have for thousands of years. Compared to modern, particularly Western standards, the lifestyle of the Hadza is simple. They have fewer pressures and responsibilities. No job, no money, fewer possessions, and plenty of free time. Though time is not really something they seem too concerned about. In the words of Kwana, one of the Hadza, what is the need for time? You wake up, you get honey. What do you need time for? The Hadza live in mobile settlements scattered throughout the Yeda Valley in Tanzania. Their simple lifestyle keeps them carefree and less attached to people or things. They are also a very civilized people. Everyone is treated as equal and decisions are made together. Although the Hadza are believed to be the second oldest people in the world, their language and body types are not closely related to any other. Similarly, their independent spirit has seen them resist many outside influences over the years. Whether from other tribes, diseases, guns, metal, poachers or tourists. Perhaps it is inevitable that their freedom will soon disappear, and that the Hadza will be caught by the incoming tide of the modern world. But until then, they will continue to roam the valley and sing their songs of freedom. Now, task one. Use the new words to fill in the sentences. For example, the Handa's people aren't plump. They are lean. You will write on your copy books one lean. So now, let's continue our lesson. At first, listen to and read the text. The Hadza, the last of the first. 8a. Different ways of living. Listening and speaking. Page 97. The Hadza. The last of the first. They don't grow crops, they don't raise animals, and they don't count the days or months. The Hadza tribe of East Africa is probably the last hunter-gatherer tribe on earth. The tribesmen are sitting by the fire. They are feeling hungry. A camp elder, Onwas, tells the others of a tree he saw filled with baboons. They all pick up their bows and set off to go hunting. Onwas is around 60 years old and quite short at 1.5 meters, but he is lean and fit. The rest of the men are also slim with short curly black hair. Their hunting knives hang from animal skin belts. Onwas invites me on the hunt in his native language, Hadzane. I have come to the Hadza homeland of Tanzania for a few days with an interpreter. Onwas is I am thrilled to get close to the Hadza people. 
They live in the extreme heat of the Yaida Valley, where the soil is poor, water is in short supply, and the bugs are terrible. Don't keep track of time. Hours, weeks, months, and years have no meaning to them. They have no crops, no animals, and no houses. They live completely off what nature provides. That's why I am here. I have come to meet these hunter-gatherers in person. After a successful night hunting baboons, we return to the camp. The women have gathered berries and fruit. The tribe shares everything. They are generous and easygoing people with lots of free time. They come and go from the camp as they please and sleep whenever they want. When it's time to eat, we gather around the fire. Once the meat is ready, everyone just dives in. Nobody knows when the next meal is as the Hadza don't plan for the future. They wander the land, taking food from it whenever they need, carrying their few possessions with them. Free from belongings, jobs, money and responsibilities, I can't help thinking as I prepare to leave that perhaps the Hadza are better off this way. They don't seem to have any worries. Hadza do not become attached to people or things, so my arrival and now my departure have had little effect on them. Smiling and walking away, I wonder about their future. Is it only a matter of time before the days of wandering the valley are over for the Hadza? I hope not. Now, let's check ourselves. Exercise 2, page 96. For each question, choose the correct answer A, B, C or D. For example, what is the writer doing in the text? The answer is A. Describing the way the Hadza live. You'll write to your copybooks 1A. Dear students, our lesson is over. Please take your homework. Writing. Imagine you are staying with the Hansa tribe for a week. Write an article describing your experiences. Send your articles to your teachers till the next lesson.